Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the School Campus Series. As you see, this will be part 11. I hope that you all are enjoying this so far, and if you are, please drop a like. Now let's get this started. Well, hey there once again, everybody. Welcome back to the School Campus Series. Now, this part 11, I have a lot planned, so please, please be prepared for that. Now, first off, what we need to make sure, guys, before we get started on all this, make sure that your road that runs beside your elementary school, all this right here, this road, make sure that you extend it straight on down in front of the high school here. Now, I'm not going to give you no numbers because it's going to be in the couple thousands. But pretty much it's going to be straight on past the high school and it'll end up going on to the middle school which will be way over there. So again extend that road way out and right over here this is what it's going to look like. And right over here will be a parking lot just for the buses. Also guys. Make sure that you go ahead and take your half slabs, two of them, and go on this level here. And go ahead and do that on both sides. Now, I didn't do this side yet, but I'll get to that. So, go ahead and do that on both sides there. Now, as you see, the parking lot here, I went ahead and planned it out where all the parking spots will be. And we'll get to that in a second. But first, what we'll do, is we're going to come right over here. Now, like I said before... Uh, I had the problem where this road was a block higher than the parking lot, and I had to do a step down right here. Now, I went ahead and put the half slabs in here, and I have four half slabs there going on that step down. Now, if you don't, and you didn't have this problem, uh, please just disregard this, but this here is where the parking lot is going to be on this level right here, right? Well, as you all know, I like to have a little curb or step up, so... What I'm going to do to fix that is I'm going to take these slabs and I'm going to come straight on across, which we can place fast now, so it's going to be no problem. But these slabs are going to go right on top to here. Now you see looking down at it, where we have this first spot right here, this one, this, you are going to come in right here. And come straight on down okay now let's say that you didn't have that problem then all you have to do is disregard this and let's say that your parking lot is going to be on this level okay so what you have to do then take the hash slab and come right here so depending on how you have yours set up, you're going to have either a step up like this if your parking lot is one block lower than this. But if yours is level with this, like mine is, then I'm going to go ahead and put the half slabs up here. So either or, that will fix your issue and that's what you're going to do. Now remember, I came off of where it comes down like this to here. Okay, this comes straight on across here. Now, let's say you're doing yours like I'm doing mine. Then you're going to come right over here to this spot where it comes around like this. And you're going to do the same thing on this side. So, again, this will come on down all the way down to here. And all this curve, all this uh, anisite that you have, all this right here it'll end up being like this so this will be filled in as well all right now once you have that on both sides and again if you're doing yours like mine then you're gonna have to have some sort of barrier right here because again my parking lot is going to be on this level right here and if there's if this is flat right here no curb or nothing to separate the sidewalk from the parking lot for cars to run up on we need some sort of barrier here because it's flat so again if you're doing yours like mine then you're going to need a barrier 
So to do that, come right here dead center where your pole is, which will be dead center of the school there. And you're going to go ahead and take a door right wall. Again, dead center of that, line that up, and come straight out to here. Now, as you see, I got these blocks here to count with. So if that is dead center there, this is a dead center block. You're going to have a block on each side here, okay? So three blocks across, right? And you're going to place these in here. Then you're going to skip three blocks, place one. Skip three blocks, place one. All the way down until you have two blocks from this curb here. Now you're going to do the same thing down here. And you're also going to have two blocks from this step up there. So again, three blocks apart here. Now those blocks is where you're going to be placing your door right wall. So all you're going to have to do is just go ahead and take this, put this here, and then place your door right wall there. All right now that's what this is going to look like here. This is how I'm going to do mine. Now, let's say that you have these walls going all the way down on both sides. You might like that, but it might be a little bit too much. All right, now on this parking lot, before we do the border around it and get all the measurements and fill it in, we need to actually figure out the middle point here and do this parking spot area and get this going. So, again, you're going to come straight in the dead center middle of this pole right here again dead center of everything which is going to be right here and you're going to count 15 blocks in between here 15 blocks from here which will start here so this will be one going across to here it'll be 15 blocks okay plenty enough room for vehicles to come through here in both directions okay so right here will be 15 then remember always, I can't stress it enough, mark this out right here. Always keep your center points. So mark this out and use a different color for here. Alright, now what you're going to do after you mark this out, on this side you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you're going to do the same thing on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you're going to place 1 and then 3. On this side the same thing. So 1, 3. And then one, and then from here going across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And it'll be this one and then this three. So looking down straight at it like this, pretty self explanatory, can't really mess that up. Alright? Now, once you've got that, then again, right here is going to be your center point. So keep all this perfectly in line. So counting this block right here this one going all the way down is going to be 35 blocks so this is going to be 35 blocks to, to this one here okay 35 now again this is your middle point here middle point now on this side again one two three four five Five on this side, the same as down there. So again, looking down at it like this, you're going to have the same exact shape. Alright, can't really mess that up either. So right here again, your center point. Always keep your center points. So again, from here, going across, will also be 15 blocks to here. And this is where our border is going to be for our parking lot. So again... 15 blocks there. Now let's say yours is off a couple blocks here and there. That's totally fine. Just make sure you have enough room for your vehicles to pass through here in both directions. Alright, now looking down at the parking spaces. This is what mine looks like right here. You guys can go ahead and pause it right here if you need to. Alright, now remember how I always do my spaces. I'm going to have 5 blocks in here that way your vehicles can fit in there really nice and then from here to here it's gonna be seven blocks like I always do always remember guys if your parking lot is a little bit wider than mine then add another parking spot just because I have let's see I have one two three 
four, five, six. I have six spots right here. Just because I have six don't mean you have to have six. If you need to make yours wider, if you have more area here and you can fit another spot, put another spot in there. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you do something like this right here. Alright, now if you're wondering how many spots I have, I have 10 here as you see. Now let's go ahead and come down here and figure out the spacing between these. So right here off of this, again, this is the middle one right here. The one that I showed you how to do right here dead center. Now on this side here, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks. Okay, 13 and then you're gonna have this and then from here to here again 13 so all of these are going to be 13 blocks apart in both directions all right now once you have all of your spaces marked out then now what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna come right over here and start the border of this parking lot now right off this road here this is where we're gonna start right here so we're going to be counting this block here off of this slab from here going on across you're going to have 16 blocks to here 16 and then looking down at it you're going to have this shape so real simple you have three two one two three all right now once you've got that then from here going on down you're gonna have 62 blocks to here and guess what you're gonna have the same shape down here on this corner so three two one two three now here as you see I have these white blocks in here and that's where the parking you got some parking spots right there now from here going on down is a long ways now I'm gonna save you some counting so right over here again this is the middle the middle spot here dead center the middle one now this one here remember like I said to keep your middle spots so this going on, on across to here mark it mark that middle remember this was 15 blocks here so mark this one now this is what you're gonna do you're gonna count to the left and you're gonna count to the right so this one here you're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine so this would be the ninth block so you're gonna mark this block here this is going to be entrance. And then here you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blocks there. Okay? And then mark this one. And then from here, going straight, you're just going to be having a straight line. So again, that will save you a lot of counting. Because that right there is just a straight line on across. And this is what, what you're going to have this position out. Now this first parking, or this first entrance here into the parking lot is going to be on the right side of this middle point, and then on the left side of the middle point you have this other entrance here. It's the same thing, so from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and again number 9 will be here, and then another entrance, the same as the other one, so 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight nine and then mark this one as well so again this will be another entrance here you can't really mess this up if you do it like I am marking everything out so this is what you're gonna have all right now from here going on down is another long stretch and I'm gonna save you some counting as well to here so again it's a long stretch save you some counting what I'm gonna do is come down to the very end here we have this very end uh, parking section here 
where you have this sidewalk right here this is what we're gonna do we take out this from the previous video here all right now off of this sidewalk right here okay you're gonna have these black blocks here so mark this spot put a black marker here okay put these markers right here now this make a straight line if you have to this here will be a straight line coming this way and it'll be right here on this side of this section here as you see coming on across okay so this here I'm just gonna bring this on across that way you guys can see it a little easier so this will come straight up against there okay now if you're off a block or two that's totally fine because this entrance here is gonna be big enough for buses to come in and out of in both directions it's gonna be a 25 block entrance here so from here going on down it'll be a straight shot so from that entrance just do a straight shot to here and you have one block and then one two three four blocks there as you see and then from here it's gonna be 25 blocks to here so that will be your entrance now this mark this here put a marker there because that is gonna be needed for later on whenever we do this section here well, right now let's go ahead and do the border all this around and do a lot of counting so please pay attention on this guys so right off of this sidewalk here you have these blocks that I told you to to put here right these marker blocks so hopefully you've done that now those marker blocks will go straight on down to this red block remember I told you to put this red block in the previous video this red block and this red block here so I hope that you guys done that just in case if you haven't this red block is in line with this wall right here and that red block is in, in line with this wall right here so just in case if you guys didn't do that all right now what you're gonna do take these blocks here and these will be straight across and these will be 35 blocks to this red block okay now there's no needing in counting the blocks in between here because all this is just going to be uh, anisite in here because we have this red block here to count from so from here going on down this will be 32 blocks to here okay 32 all right now this might get a little tricky so pay attention so you're gonna go in five blocks and again three and then you're gonna do two and then you're gonna have one two three singles and then you're gonna have two three five and then here you're gonna have one two three four five six seven eight nine blocks there and then off of that nine you're gonna have five three two and then you gonna have these three singles okay curving around like this now off of these three singles I'm gonna turn it this way you have two three five and then from here going across you have 13 blocks to here so that'll be 13 and remember mark your middle right here's your middle so mark it 
All right, and then it's going to be the same as the other side. So I'm going to go over this a little quicker. So five, three, two, three singles. You're going to turn this way. Two, three, five. And then you have this here, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks. And then a five, three, two, turn this way, three singles. And then two, three, and five. All right, now I'm going to look down at it like this. You should have the outside. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come right over here where I told you to mark this middle off this 13. And from here, going across, it'll be another 13 blocks. So from here, going across 13, and mark this block right here. Make sure you mark this one. Okay, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this middle marker in just a second. Okay, so from here, going straight down, I'm going to save you some counting once again. Because it's a long shot. There's a lot of counting there. So what you're going to do to get that number is you're going to come here where you have this. And you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks. Okay. Make sure you mark these. So you're going to come in 8 blocks right here. And then from here, going across, will be 10 blocks. So this will be entrance coming in for the buses. So this will be 10 blocks. And then you're going to have this block here. Okay, so mark that one. All right, now, you're going to have these three. And then you're going to come up there. Now, this glass here this going across is going to be another 10 blocks this will be the exit for the buses so with all that in line with each other then you're going to start counting here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so eleven blocks there so that saved you all that counting now off this 11th block, you're going to have 1, and then 2, and then here. Looking down at it, you're going to have this kind of shape here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go from here across. It'll be 7 blocks to here. All right? And then you'll have 3, 1, 3. And then from here going across, you have... 31 blocks to here. Okay? 31 there. I hope I'm not going too fast. Okay. Now once you've got that 31 there, then you're going to have these three, one and three. And then from here, going all the way down, will be 81 blocks to here. Then you have a three, one, three, and then from here will be 22 blocks to here. And then you'll have a one, and then you'll have these four here. Now, for this area here, again, will be the parking lot for the buses. This will be the entrance and the exit here. It'll be 12 blocks from here okay 12 blocks for that now right here we have a section that we're going to put here that's going to separate this main parking lot from this parking for the buses so remember I told you to mark this one right here well that there will go straight on down as you see now off of here where we have these two already now this glass box going across will be 10 blocks.
to here. So this will be number 10. And then you're going to just do 2. And then from here, it will be a straight shot. And then you have this 1. And then from here, it will be a straight shot. Now, these here will be 3 blocks apart. Alright, now come back to over here. And we're going to do this middle section. So remember, you're going to have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks. And remember you mark this out here with these three. So from here, this block here, going straight on down, you're going to have 106. Yes, 106 blocks to here. Okay? Now, remember these are going to be three blocks apart right here so from here going down that way also be 106 so you ain't got to count this one just count one side and then from here just lining up on the other side right down here okay now once you have that long stretch of 106 then looking down at it like this right here you guys can pause it right there if you need to pretty self-explanatory so off this 106, you have one. Let's look at it like this. Okay, you got one, two, three, and then from here going on across will be nine blocks right here, and then three, two, one, and then you have these five here with that middle there, and then this is going to be the same as the other side. So one, two, three. And then this across, 3, 2, 1, and then from here down 106. Well, right, now once you have everything marked out, then you can go ahead and fill all this in with your parking lot block. Now all the other parking lots I use stone, which is perfectly fine. But I'm going to change it up for this parking lot. I'm going to use the gray concrete powder. Now as you know... I place it it will fall so I'll have to brace it with a block up under I'll use the fill command for this huge area so it only take a few seconds so again you guys can use stone in here whatever you guys want to do but that's what I'm gonna use well, alright now again once you have it filled in it should look like this here remember the same block you're gonna go ahead and use for this parking lot here for the buses also you're gonna fill in all this here with that same block all the way around the back all this filled in also guys I just wanted to say that right over here how I'm gonna do mine off this main road is I'm gonna have a step down like so now if you're gonna have a step down it's going to be like this, one, two, three, four blocks of those slabs. And then right here, we have this. This is going to be your actual parking lot block here. So this is what I'm going to do right here. Okay, now if your guys is, is level, that's perfectly fine. Then your block will be like right in here it's gonna fall but anyway it'll be level just like that it doesn't really matter but mine's gonna have a step down so right off of the sidewalk I'm gonna have the polished door right slabs and the polished door right full blocks up under as you see here now I'm gonna have a total of one two three blocks right there and then this border here that we counted out this this is where this wall is going to be for here. And all this inside of here is going to be filled in with grass. And then we'll have small trees and flowers, bushes, whatever inside of here. So all this will be filled in with that. And then you're going to do the same thing with this wall on this other side of your entrance. And it will go all the way down, all the way around this way. So again, all on top of here will be this so place that right on top of there wrap this all around here and then really 
Another leak. All right, whatever. So, again, this here will come around this way. Come around, come around, and then it'll end up right here. All right, now as you see, all filled in. It looks pretty good. I like how it turned out. Now the light poles will be in line with each other like everything else. And the light poles here are the same design as what we've been doing. Nothing different on that. And as you see, we have one space from here. And it's the second space in. Same thing on this side. If you've done it right, you should have two spaces in between. That's if you've done it like mine. Now if you had to add a extra space or whatever... Just make sure that you have your light poles in line with each other. Okay. Also, down here, this wall, how I have mine going on down. Again, if you don't have yours like mine, that's okay. That's just how I have mine. Over here, we don't need any parking spaces because the buses, they park freely. Now, let's go ahead and look at this over here. You see, we have this filled in as well. Now let's look at these arrows. We've got an entrance here and an exit here. Because the buses, they go down, they turn around, they come out this way. So from here, going on across, be 12 blocks to here. From here to here, it'll be 8 blocks long. Looking down at it, it's pretty self explanatory here. So 8 blocks there, and then 3 across. And then one on each side. This arrow is the same, just facing the opposite direction. Just make sure that they're in line with each other like that. Now, as you see down here, we have this filled in, like I said. So, again, this is what it should look like. And then over here, we have the yellow. I use the yellow terracotta. And this here is like caution because the buses will be right here so right off this red block we're gonna cover it up with this slab and yes once again I'm loving how we can place these slabs fast again we go right up against there and then over here the same thing alright now once you've got that then take a look at this here so off this wall here, one, two, three, four, five. Number six will be here. So it'll be five blocks from that wall. You gotta mark that out there. Then you gotta five blocks again, marker, five blocks again, marker, five blocks again, marker. If you've done it right, you'll have one, two, three, four, five from there. And once you've got that, then you're gonna have two blocks in between like this and these will go on down just like this here all right now right here we have these markers place a wall of choice I'm gonna use a granite wall one two three four blocks there and then on this one it'll be five one two three four five and you're gonna do that all the way down so the back would be four and this one would be five. All right, and once you got that, then choose your slabs of choice. I'm gonna use the in-stone brick slabs. Also, they have the stair to match. So you're gonna place one there, one there like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and come in here and place a stair like this. Then a slab here. Then a slab up under. Now you're just gonna carry that all the way down. Alright, now once you have it on a cross, it should look like this here. Make sure you guys overhang it on this end and as well down here, just like this. Also down here, I put the polished anisite block up under there where those markers were. And now for the seating, I use the jungle wood slabs with the stairs. You guys use whatever, but I went ahead and went across like this. And then I took the stair and put one there and then one there just like that so go ahead and do that on these here so again bring this across 
stir, stir. Alright everybody, now this will be pretty much it for this video. I hope that you all are enjoying it so far, the series. And if you are, please drop a like. And let me know what you think down below, guys. Now, as I told you before, there's going to be a lot more in this series. We still got to do the middle school and a lot of little things here and there in between. So again, guys, please be patient. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.